So Deshaun Jackson talked on the Up and Adam show today about the T. Higgins situation. What he thought about it and what we do not know about the situation. So let's go ahead and listen up to this as the Queen, as always, I love Kay Adams, goes ahead and gives the whole situation. Now I'm going to do this for copyright purposes, but let's go ahead and play it. Let's talk about what do you, what do you, what do you feel about them uh, Cincinnati Bengals? What do you mean? What do you, feel about T, what do you feel about T Higgins? You think he's staying? I think they're gonna find a way to let him stay. I want him to get his bag. I wanted them. I want them to do right by him. But I think he stays this year. I think we're too far into like free agency's too far gone now. Like I think. The one problem I will say, just a little side note here, is really the fact that they have not worked out a contract at all. They haven't worked on a contract since last March. That's why apparently he did the trade request because he was not uh, he was not happy with the fact they haven't worked out a contract in a year. The fact that I've been working on a contract since last March that's very concerning. I think he's gonna stay. Do you? You don't think that you don't think that that happens in the NFL draft? You don't think they might trade him for something? Do you, mm. Are you hearing something? Mm, I love when you give me this face. She said, are you here? I said, do you always expect me to tell you what I'm here to? Yeah, <laughs> I always expect a little something. <laughs> just a little like, you always say like, don't quote me unless I'm right. I'm just saying, I, I don't know. They, they they got Jamar Chase, you know, this there too that they're going to have to pay very soon too. So I don't know. Is it possible to, 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 to make? You just ruined. I feel like, in all honesty, a lot of this is smoke and mirrors. I don't, I don't think he knows anything. And again, like I said many times, I truly believe this. The amount a team would have to give up to go ahead and trade us, trade T. Higgins to them. I just don't think a team would actually pay that amount. I really don't. It would just cost them way too much. And we're very stingy with our players. Ruined my whole day. Like, why we ha we're getting along so well now? You're just, just uh, you, know, you, you know, you know, you know what might need to happen. Joe Burrow might need to. Uh... Do what Tom Brady used to do back in the day. He might Take re less. readjust that readjust that contract and make room for both of his receivers. I mean, don't you see that being a? I think a Justin thing? Jefferson needs to go. Needs to get force a trade. Go to and go there, and then you can get rid of T. Give me the LSU reunion. Go where? To the Bengals. Force a trade to the Bengals. Don't sign your extension. You don't know who your quarterback is. You're the best receiver in the league. Go play with Joe Burrow. I mean, Deshaun Jackson is not wrong. When he talks about the idea of doing what Tom Brady did. Where Tom Brady would take pretty much no money um, each year. Just so that he could get the best players on his team. He would take, I think it was like $11 million per year was his cap hit. And the reason why? Because he wanted to get all these stars. And these stars cost a lot of money. And that's back in the day when players didn't cost $30, $40 million. But also the salary cap was a lot different back in the day. Here's what I'll say, right? I'll never say a player should have to give up their money in any way. No matter what the circumstances is, players should never give up their money. It's their job. They're doing their job. They're getting paid for their job. That's their money. No one else's. But, kind of like Patrick Mahomes here, where Patrick Mahomes is going to take less money, restructure his contract to keep certain players. If Joe wants to keep T, Chase, everyone... He's the biggest, you know, money against our salary cap. He's the biggest price tag. And everything goes through him in all, in all reality. You can always go ahead and restructure a contract, put money in a signing bonus, take less of a cap hit, get somebody else in there, right? Help us out. Keep it going. To the Justin Jefferson idea, listen, I would love it. I would love it so freaking much. I think everyone would. And I think Kay Adams is honestly spitting facts when she says, listen, like if you're Jay Jettis, you want to go somewhere where you're going to have the best chance possible to put up the most yards, touchdowns, and win a Super Bowl. You're not doing that in Minnesota. They don't even know who their quarterback's going to be. Their quarterback right now is Sam Donald. If you're Jay Jettis, go to Cincinnati. Go get it paid. Not as much because we're going to have to give you less. Go to Cincinnati. Go play with Joe Burrow. You play with him in college. He's the reason you got drafted. Not really the, all the reason, but JJ is still really good. Don't be wrong. But he's part of the reason you got drafted.
go to, you know, Cincinnati, win a Super Bowl. I, I see all W's here. I don't know, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.